With your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, we're starting out the work week on a stormy note, at least for portions of our area, and we'll continue to see stormy, wet conditions as we go through the middle of the week, and then we're going to start to see a little bit of that sunshine return. We are going to be on the cool side the next couple of days, thanks to that cloud cover and the rainfall. Then it turns dry and warmer as we go into next weekend. The current conditions out at Mathis Field right now, we're sitting at 63 degrees, so on the cool side, thanks to all that cloud cover, humidity at 67%, winds out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. Some of the storms that we've seen today have produced some pretty large sized hail for us and we're going to take a look at this. This is how you measure hail and compare it to different objects. Severe level starts at quarter size or one inch and then goes up from there to two inch at hen egg size and then goes up to softball and even grapefruit size could even be possible with storms but not today. I think we're going to be falling anywhere in between this range right here. We've seen storms already produce upwards of baseball sized hail and Kimball County, so some pretty significant health sizes coming out of some of these storms. Let's get to them right now. A severe thunderstorm warning. That storm has moved out of this polygon box here in McCullough County. That warning goes until 6:15, so about five more minutes on that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in a little bit tighter on McCullough County because that's where these the bulk of the storms are right now with this. And as we take a look at this. Calf Creek, that's where you're seeing the bulk, the heaviest part of this storm. This severe thunderstorm warning is going until a little while longer, so we're going to see a little while longer on this warning, particularly here in southern portions of McCullough County. So we're going to continue to watch for that chance for severe thunderstorms here as we go through McCullough County for the next several minutes. This one goes until 615 as well, includes Concho, Mason, McCullough, Menard, and is capable of producing two inch hell or hen egg sized hell with this storm. So we're going to be watching for all of that as we go through time. Let's take a look at what the radar is actually estimating for hell size with this storm right now around Calf Creek. That's where you're seeing all this hell come down right now. And it's saying right around quarter sized hell right now, maybe a little bit bigger, but keep in mind this storm is capable of producing much larger hell sizes as we go through time here. So watching that, watching all the lightning with these storms. This is the setup. We've got a solid frontal boundary to our south that fired up thunderstorms to our south and then even into portions of eastern communities here in the Concho Valley. So we're dealing with that severe weather threat tonight. And it's all because of the clearing that we've seen in our southern counties. All this clearing led to warming and led to an unstable atmosphere for our southern communities and eastern communities as these storms roll on through the area. Our high-risk future cast looks like this. We'll continue to see that chance for showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So watching for more showers and thunderstorms possible. A more widespread chance of showers and thunderstorms into Tuesday morning for San Angelo and for northern communities as we go through the day on Tuesday and into Tuesday evening. There's another chance for more showers and thunderstorms as we go into the evening hours on Tuesday. So continue to watch for that chance as we go into Wednesday, even continuing for rain chances. Temperatures in the low 60s. We'll get back to the 70s with a little more sunshine on Thursday. Friday, not looking bad. Back to the 80s for daytime highs as we go into Saturday. There is another slight chance that we could see some more rain, maybe even a couple of rumbles of thunder as we go into Saturday and Sunday. So keep that in mind as we go into the weekend. But I think we're going to be on the drier side as we head towards the end of the week, beginning of next week. Tonight, around 57 for a low, isolated thunderstorms. Northeast winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour for our Tuesday. We'll top out near 74 with more thunderstorm chances. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour the next five days look like this for us. We're going to continue to see that wet weather, weather pattern for us as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, turning a little cloudy for us on Thursday, but then we'll start to see more sunshine as we head towards the end of the week, warmer temperatures as well. More KSAN News right after this.